Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do another experiment where I mix markers together and but first I need to take a little bit of break just to take in how gorgeous um, her eyes are. Aren't they gorgeous? Like they're just these deep set eyes and they're just looking at us. Anyway, back to what I was doing. So I'm going to do another experiment because over the last few weeks it seems as though I've been just experimenting with Covid markers and seeing what it can give me and the effects it can get when I mix it with different different mediums. So I think in my last video I did, or last few videos, I did a mix of Covid markers with Pro markers and today, do you see that um, black wet thing there? I'm mixing it. I'm mixing it with watercolour. I want to see what happens when I mix these markers with watercolors. I don't know if it's been done before. I have looked it up but I can't see anyone. I, I haven't seen the results of mixing Cobalt markers with watercolors. I don't know that it might be a complete failure. I might get a little bit embarrassed by the results. But I just wanna, I, yeah, I just wanna experiment. I might stumble upon something really great. So I decided to use Cobalt markers for the skin. I'm not sure if I'm going to use um, Cobalt markers. I can't really remember if I used any watercolor for the cheek on top of the Cobalt markers that I used for the base of the skin. But anyway, if, you, if you're interested to know what color I mix for the hair, it's just to, to get black is all three primary colors, red, yellow and Ooh, my brain, where's my brain? Red, yellow, and blue, yeah. The three primary colors would give you black, or you could mix earth colors like burnt sienna, raw sienna. By the looks of this, I think I added a little bit of burnt sienna, or raw sienna in there, because I could see a little bit of brown to the left-hand side of the drawing, so it must be um, burnt sienna. So, you guys, as you can see, I was trying to build up some type of layer using watercolor and Copic markers, but I didn't really like the way it came out. I just didn't like the effect of it, so I just went over it. I just decided to go over it with my Prisma Color Marker, Copic markers, the black one. I realized with the Copic markers that they're different type of brands. I just always just call them Copic markers, but they're different types of markers from the Prisma color markers out there. So I always have to remember to say like child, Copic child markers. Anyway, I, I'm not really sure what the difference is at this time, but so I was trying to get the same effect that I got in my last, um, I was going to say painting, my last illustration when I mixed the markers from different brands together. but. I didn't really like the way this one was coming out when I mixed it with the pro markers so that's why I went on top went over it again with colored pencil my finger and with the Cobit Chow marker but I'm trying to make the cheek pop a little bit because I just love like a warm cheek cheeks tend to be warm here after I done the shirt I realized that the scarf isn't really sticking out isn't sticking out as much as I would have hoped and I was just trying to rectify it maybe try and put some shadows but in the end you see that I think I, I decided to change the color of the, the scarf altogether but overall I think I think this this is really lovely and I think I love the way her eyes came out as I said before I think when I went to draw the eyes, I looked up reference for it. I looked up a model sheet to see the expressions that I wanted. And yeah, I did indeed change the color of the scarf. I, I'm trying to light it in different lighting so that you guys could see how it came out instead of it looking shiny because I was, I was doing this illustration, recording this illustration under a lamp during the night. But the next day I decided to show you guys what it looks like and under normal sunlight coming through the window and this is what it looks like and I hope you like and comment it. I hope you like and I hope you comment and I will see you next time. 